Hello guys, so today I've decided to make a tutorial on how to play back your piece through your Contact 5 um, library and decided to do that because I couldn't find answers online uh, that particularly concentrate on Contact 5 and Finale so hopefully this is going to be helpful now I apologize for bad audio quality and video quality so just for comparison um, and just as an example, I created a four bar uh, piece, I guess. And I did so just to compare finale standard sounds. And then we'll hear it again once we set up Contact 5. So here it is with standard finale sounds. So not too bad, uh, but we can do it better uh, using our Contact 5 library. For this example, I'll try to use my Symphony series, which is, I think it's created by Native Instruments. I purchased it online, and I want to use it. <clears throat> so the first thing you're going to do, if you haven't done so, is you're going to go to Device Setup, and then Manage VST Plugin uh, Directions. And you're gonna add the Contact 5 VST plugin. If you just did a normal installation, it should be in the um, program files. Then under native instruments, where it is, here it is. You're gonna go down to VST plugins. Now, this is important. If you're using Finale 2014, or older, you have to select the 32-bit version. For this video, I have downloaded Finale version 25, which is actually a 64-bit program. I'll choose this one. Actually, I, have, I did it already. But make sure you select the right folder, because um, Finale will not detect it if you chose the wrong, the wrong uh, bit version. So you do that. I've done that already. And then once you close it, will I actually start scanning. So Finale might freeze for a minute, but that's okay. Since I've done that already, it's already scanned and loaded. After you do that, you have to click on Window, then Score Manager. And this is, this is where you choose which device you want to use to play back the instruments. So the standard one that Finale uses is, um, I don't know how you pronounce it, Garretton instruments, but we're gonna uh, switch it to Contact 5. There we go. And we're gonna do that for every instrument. Do -do -do. Now, the thing is, if you haven't scanned it, if you haven't scanned the VST plugin, it's not gonna show as an option here. So make sure you scan the VST plugins first. And then it will show up, show up here as, as a device. Okay, once you've done that, you're gonna load Contact 5 by double clicking on Edit Player. After you've done that, you're gonna load up your instruments, whatever you want. But since I'm, I have two trumpets, a horn, and trombone, and tuba, I'm gonna load up my symphony series, brass, and ensemble. And I'm gonna load up my plugins. So here we go. Trumpet. I have two trumpets. Uh, so I'm gonna load it twice just so I can um, individually tweak the sounds of um, the two trumpets. So as I said, I'm gonna do it twice. Here we go. Two trumpets. Awesome. Then the third instrument we have is a horn. I'm sorry, I'm just going to take a while, but... Horns, and then oh, trombone. And then the last instrument is a tuba. Cool. I'll let it load for a little bit. 
Now, by the way, you don't have to load the same instrument twice. Like, for example, if you're using two uh, trumpets, you can um, channel it to one instrument, which is trumpets. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Um, again, you don't have to do this. You can route it to one channel here, which brings up the next point. Um, Where's my score manager? Here it is. The next thing you have to do is make sure that the channels here match the contacts channel. And the way you do this, if for example, if they don't match, you can change it here. Uh, let's say uh, you choose whatever channel. So again, match the channels here. So for example, here have trumpet channel one, trumpet channel 1. I did this in order so they have they should match and they do. Now it should be able to play back my piece through contact library. I'm just going to bring it up here so you can see it. it's playing back through contact. Awesome. So as you can see, it was playing back <laughs> through contact, although it sounded like garbage. I think what I'm going to do, which is sound, so it sounds better, I'm just going to transpose it up an octave. That should make it better, hopefully. Let's try. Okay, uh, not too bad. Let's try transplanting this up. Yeah, horns can play that high, but... Oh yeah, so it kind of works. <laughs> it's probably not the best harmony, but it works for this video. Um, here's one issue that you're going to have when you load this out. Symphony series controls dynamics through this mod wheel. However, Finale doesn't know how to communicate dynamics to this mod wheel, so you have to manually change that. So for example, you have triple pianissimo to 40, but when I play this, the dynamic wheel doesn't do anything. Again, it didn't move. So here's how you're going to fix that. You're going to go to MIDI audio, human playback, human, human playback preferences. Going to go to dynamics slash volumes. Going to go here, dynamic approach for blah, 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 blah. Going to click here and choose modulation CC sharp one plus whatever. Going to click it here. And I think that the reason it is you have to click that is uh, apply it. Um, okay, so CC, yeah, so that's the name of the controller that would you, you usually use on a MIDI keyboard. Just keep in mind that Symphony series is not really designed to, in my opinion, it's not really designed to play back through Finale. That's why you have to do some weird stuff. It usually works best in like a DAW, for example, like Fruity Loops or Cubase or Pro Tools, but it can still work. So let's see if that fixed the issue. Uh, did it? I don't think it did. Oh no, it did. So as you can see, the the wheel is now moving according to your dynamics here. I'm just going to play back again so you can see. Okay, so I 
think we're pretty good. Um, symphony series actually samples staccato sounds. Um, uh, let me load it up here. Uh, nope. So we can actually choose if I can find it. Let me see how you do that. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, uh, we can la load in staccato sounds. So this is actually real humans playing staccato. Uh, why is it not working? Oh, here we go. Now, it should work now. Ah, go back. Diff, do it. Ah, I know what the problem is. Here we go. Um, yeah, okay. So, when you click F sharp, it'll play staccato, which is nice. However, Finale does staccato in a different way. Instead of playing uh, actual staccato samples, Finale just actually shortens the, the sound. So it kind of cheats, right? It doesn't actually use staccato samples. It just play, plays the note for a really uh, short time. And you can see that... I'm going to show you that right now. As you can see, it didn't actually switch to staccato. Now, if you want to use staccato samples, whenever you have the staccato notation, yeah, you're going to have to do some um, coding. You're going to go to Human Playback, Human Preferences. Now, this is where you're going to create the instructions on what to do when, you, when Finale sees a staccato. And this is the standard finale sounds, and that, that's their code. But we're going to have to create our own for a symphony series. So what I like to do is deactivate everything here, because it will mess up the, our own um, instructions. I'm going to deselect this thing. Yeah, go away, 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 go away. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to create a new folder, and you should create a new folder for each instrument. So let's say Symphony Series Trumpet. There you go, Trumpet. Awesome. Under this, you, so that's your new folder, new instrument. Then you're going to click on New Technique. I'm going to name that technique Staccato, whereas Americans say staccato. Here we go. We create a new technique uh, selection. I'm gonna click um, trumpet. Here we are. And the technique is gonna be staccato. Okay. Now, here is where you select what to do when Finale sees staccato. That's the action. That's the instruction you're gonna write. Okay. So in our case. It's going to be a key switch. So a key switch is literally a note on a keyboard, right? So in the in uh, in the case of symphony series, the key switch for staccato is F sharp zero. However, F sharp zero is key switch number thirty, and you just you can literally Google MIDI note charts, and I will show you the the number equivalent of a um, of a key. So just look that up, and it turns out it's going to be 30. After you've done that, you're going to click Apply. OK. And now let's see if that actually worked. So I'm going to scroll up. Where's my context file? Here's my trumpet. So in theory, when staccato plays here, it should switch 
to key switch number 30, which is F sharp 0. So let's see if that works. Okay, so it actually switched to staccato. So this staccato actually triggered this switch. I actually forgot to do, as you can see, it didn't go back to the normal uh, sustain. And this is because I forgot to do the instruction for that. So here's what you're going to do. Again, you're going to go human playback, human preferences. Where's my trumpets? Trumpets. So a normal node is actually a technique, technically. So you're gonna, I'm going to write, I'm going to name it normal. And so I'm sustaining, I'm going to select trumpet. I'm going to select, uh, oh, standard. It's not normal, it's standard. And the standard in Symphony series is a C. And if you load up the uh, MIDI node chart, it's actually C0 is actually number 24. I'm going to go to key switch, type in 24, and I think, I think this is good. I'm going to click apply, click OK, and now let's see if it's going to go back from staccato to normal. Awesome. So just to make sure, just so you don't think I cheated by clicking manually, I'm going to play that again. Okay. So now what we've done is we taught Finale what to do when it sees a staccato note. So we instructed it, when you see a staccato note, please trigger this key switch. And so you can do this for any articulation uh, or technique that you want. For me, this is good enough. This is very useful, especially for flutes. Flutes have a specific sound for a trill, like blah, 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 blah. Oh, sorry. Uh, you don't want Finale literally playing two keys back and forth. I actually want to use my sample library for a trill. And you can do that the same way you did staccato. It will trigger a key switch for a trill. So for example, tuba has sustained trill. Let's see what that does. Yeah, okay. And you can create that technique. Um, I think that's it. Uh, I hope that was useful. And um, thank you. Bye.